Welcome to Daily Balance. Last season, we had a powerful show about surviving sexual child abuse. We met a young man who had personally been sexually abused from ages 4 to 13. We've asked him to join us again today to follow up on his remarkable journey of hope and healing. Please welcome teacher, lecturer, author, and the founder of the Butterfly Gateway, Wade Younger. Hey, Wade. Hi, Kim. I'm so glad you came back. Thanks so much. You know, I have too many guests back right. that often, but you came back because you know why? Because like people need to know how to get past this sexual child abuse thing and what to look for. Right. And you tell a great story. Thank a you. great story. Thank and you're you doing man. a lot of great work. Appreciate it very much. Thank I appreciate you. you having me. I, I mean, it's been pretty remarkable. I mean, mm -hmm. since we've talked the last thing, uh, uh, one of the things that I've been talking about is my recovery yes. and my journey. I mean, my situation was I was molested from the age of 4 to 13 from a couple of trusted relatives, yes. a, a neighbor, um, some strangers as well. And uh, you start to leave those things behind. You try to if you don't deal with it. And that was my case. I, I carried it into adulthood before I knew it. And uh, went through it for a long time and uh, was married for several years, 22 years, and mm -hmm. just got the best of me. And uh, that marriage ended, but I really wanted to get better yeah. and, and, and then just like get into sexual child abuse, very similar to how someone with cancer wants to get into oncology. You know, yes. what's behind it? I really wanted to connect the dots. So it's been pretty remarkable. And what have you found as you're connecting the dots? Because you actually came up with the Butterfly Gateway. What is that all about? The Butterfly Gateway is a foundation for sexual child abuse awareness mm -hmm. and recovery. Um, it's an online service for support. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and we have a, a support group here in Charlotte. And uh, one of the things that we recognize is as people start to heal, mm -hmm. um, they're in different stages. Some people are, are what we call in flight. And what we mean by that, they're actively pursuing a healing process. Yes. And then some people aren't ready yet. It bothers them, but they're not really ready to talk about it or go to see a therapist. Yeah. So the gateway is for and people that don't mind getting on the internet, the butterflygateway.com. And there's resources there. There's uh, several stories. And it's also a blog so people can tell their stories. That's and, right. and I it's, love it. Yeah, and as recently as this week, I still get emails from people that have been, uh, who, who've seen this show and to talk about, well, this is what my story is. How do you live a daily life and recover. Yes. And so that's sort of the, the purpose of the Butterfly Gateway, and it's very effective. Good. That's butterflygateway.com. Or you can also visit Daily Balance with Kim.tv, and we'll direct you over to butterflygateway.com. Welcome back to Daily Balance. My guest today is Wade Younger. And as you all know, I had a surprise for you, but now Wade already told you about it. So we have Scotty Jones, and he's going to introduce him. Wade, you introduce our guest. I appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry about that, Kimberly. Well, what we have here is Scotty Jones. As we mentioned um, earlier, I met Scotty after doing uh, some uh, volunteer work at a prison, and uh, Scotty was incarcerated uh, for an issue that happened several years back. And what I wanted to do was find just an, uh, someone that understood the vision of helping children, and uh, he kind he caught on really nicely. So after talking about Youthopedia and the objective of it, um, Scotty agreed and gave us just some phenomenal work to, uh, to display. So, Well, welcome, Scotty. Glad, you, to glad to have you on the show. Here. And you've yeah. done a beautiful job with Youthopedia well, and some really good work, and, and, and God has gifted you to do phenomenal with your hands. Mm -hmm. So continue to keep up the great work. Thank yeah. you. It was, a, it was a big step for me. Um, I have a skill to draw, but it was not my passion. It was just something to do until I met him. And because I have kids of my own, I thought it was such a, a phenomenal project because I grew up without a father. Um, so a lot of things I had to learn on my own. Okay. So being able to express or show kids, you know, things that their parents either reluctant or just feel like can't talk to them about. Right. It's, a, it's a great opportunity to get your point across to help children. Um, I was excited with it. It was 10 artists at, at one time, and um, I didn't know if I could do it myself. Um, but because of what it was and 
my kids. It gave me the inspiration and motivation to go ahead and try it. Wow. So it, it worked out pretty good. Um, I'm happy with what we're doing. Um, the, the power to be able to change lives yes. is a phenomenal thing in itself. Yes. So when I met Way and what he was doing, I felt I knew I wanted to be a part of it. You know, so it's my way of giving back also. Um, so it's just it's just a phenomenal thing, you know what I'm saying? It's a blessing to have a skill and be able to touch lives. Wonderful. Um, for the lack of words, I would say you couldn't put no monetary pr uh, price on it, so it would be priceless. You know it what I'm really saying? It really is. You know, I actually did a show on, on Everyday Heroes, mm -hmm. and technically you all are Everyday Heroes too, mm -hmm. because you're helping people that are in a very unfortunate situation, and mm -hmm. you, through the gift of using your hands to actually illustrate it, is, is great, and mm -hmm. you with the mm -hmm. butter Butterfly Gateway is phenomenal, because you have so many resources that are available for people, mm -hmm. and it really is changing people's lives.